Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth Sathidharan and I am a member of the Hardware Product Management team at F5. Welcome to the second video in the series introducing our series, F5's next generation appliance based hardware platform. To recap, in the first video, we were able to introduce the R series platforms and the F5 OS A software that runs on the R series platforms. We were also able to use the appliance setup wizard to set management IPv4 addresses, DNS, and NTP settings on our R series appliance. The management IP address can now be used to access the R series appliance via CLI, API, and UI. For today's demo, We'll use the UI via the management IP address to license a R-series appliance, configure base level network and system settings at the F5 OS layer, and finally back up our configuration. So let's jump right in. As you can see on your screen, I'm logged into the R-series UI as admin. What you're seeing is the UI to configure network and system settings at the F5 OS layer on an R series appliance. The F5 OS layer provides options to configure network and system settings such as DNS, NTP, and external logging. DNS is configured under system settings under the DNS tab. As you might recall, we configured DNS settings on this R-series appliance using the setup wizard and you can see the DNS server IP listed here. Configuring NTP is highly recommended so that the R-series system clock is synchronized and accurate. NTP can be configured again under the system settings tab and navigating to time settings. Also, you might recall that in the first video, we configured NTP using the setup wizard and the IP address of the NTP server is listed here. You can also configure external logging for an R-series appliance and send logs for the F5 OS platform layer to an external syslog server. This can be done under the system settings tab and navigating to log settings. For today's demo, I will not be configuring an external log. Licensing is also done at the F5 OS layer and TMOS tenants running on an R-series appliance generally inherit this license. For today's demo, I've gone ahead and installed a license. You can install a license by navigating to the license tab under the system settings tab. Before we can proceed any further, it is important to run the latest version of F5 OS code to ensure that you're getting new functionality, but also improved performance and optimal experience. You can download the latest version of F5 OS at downloads.f5.com. Once you've logged in, click on find a download, navigate to the F5 OS section, and click on the F5 OS appliance software to select F5 OS code specific to the R series appliance. Once here, ensure that you're selecting the latest version from the drop down, the latest version of F5 OS A code available as of today is the 1.3.1 .1 release. Click on 131. Also, ensure that you're selecting the correct uh, image depending on the flavor of R series appliance that you're currently installed. If you're unsure, you can go back to the R series appliance UI, navigate to the general tab under system settings, and the product name should indicate the flavor of R series you're running. As you can see, I'm running a R series. 10,000 model, specifically the R-Series 10900. So we're going to click on the ISO for the R 
5000 and R10,000 models. We're going to select HTTPS and the US West Coast. The next step is to copy the F5 OS A ISO image that we downloaded onto the R series appliance. You can do that under the software management tab under system settings. Click on import and provide the path to the local server that is hosting the F5 OS A image. For today's demo, I've already gone ahead and initiated the uh, import. Keep in mind that after the upload completes, it will take time for the image to be fully imported and verified. As you can see on your screen, the import uh, has successfully completed and has been verified. Inside the ISO file are two different types of software, the OS and service. All three types, namely the ISO, service and OS images should be listed under the software management page. When upgrading the F5 OS platform layer, you will have a choice of upgrading either a bundle release, meaning OS and services are bundled together or independently updating OS and services. At this point, F5 recommends choosing the bundled image option. Before we can initiate an F5 OS software upgrade, F5 recommends backing up configuration on the R series. To completely back up the R series system, you'll need to back up each tenant's DMOS configuration first and then back up the F5 OS configuration. The F5 OS configuration includes data such as any SNMP configuration, port group configuration, VLAN configuration, and tenant configuration. Although we don't have any tenants running currently, it is important to note that the tenant configuration that is backed up as part of an F5 OS backup only contains tenant type, image, name, management IP, gateway, VLANs, assigned CPU, memory, storage size, and so on. It does not include the big IP configuration on the tenant. To create a backup of the big IP configuration on the tenant, you must perform backup in the tenant itself. We'll talk about tenant backups in a later video when we have tenants deployed and running. Using the F5 OS UI, you can create a backup at the F5 OS layer by navigating to system settings and clicking on configuration backup. Click on create and provide a name, today being the 7th of December, we'll say 12, 7, 2022, backup, and click on create. As you can see, a backup has been, cre has been successfully created. Once the database backup has completed, you should copy the file to an external location so that the system can be restored in case of a total failure. You can download the config database using the CLI, web UI, or API. For today's demo, I'll use the UI. In the web UI, navigate to File Utilities under System Settings. Choose the Configs option from the drop-down menu. Here, you can either choose to import or export configuration backups if you'd like to store the backups on an external HTTPS server, or you can upload or download from the client's local machine. Today, we're going to store the backups locally on my local machine. So we're going to use the download option so click on the backup that we just created and hit download. So you can see the download is complete. And we are now ready to initiate a software upgrade. As you might recall, 
in order to initiate a software upgrade navigate to the software management tab under system settings click on the software version you want to upgrade to hit save as you can see clicking on ok will initiate the software update procedure and services may be become temporarily unavailable so click on ok and you have successfully initiated a software upgrade on your R series appliance to recap in the first video we introduced the R series appliance and the F5 OSA software that runs on the R series we then use the R series appliance setup wizard to configure management IPv4 addresses, DNS, and NTP server settings on the R series appliance. In this video, we access the R series using the UI to license an R series appliance, configure base level network and system settings at the F5 OS layer backup our F5 OS configuration and finally upgrade to the latest 1.3.1 F5 OS A software. In the next video, we'll talk about TMOS tenants, specifically tenant sizing and deploying tenants on an R series appliance. Thank you for watching.